And we're here giving a demo flight to Ben. Ben and his wife came in from uh, Saskatchewan, Canada, and uh, looking at the 750 Stoll and the 750 Cruiser. Today we're going up in the Cruiser, he's looking at the Cruiser and the UL Power Engine. Wanted to see what the UL Power Engine was all about. Uh, yesterday you had a little extra time, so let you build a little uh, binder for your drawings. So when you start building the 750 or the Cruiser, that you'll have a, a binder to put your drawings in. A little hands-on, uh, so you can learn all the techniques on how to build the rest of your airplane. So how, how'd it go yesterday? It was wonderful, wonderful. Good, good. And uh, your wife, she, she enjoyed it too? Yes, she did. Good, good. You've decided that we are going to build an airplane together. Oh good, you guys have a lot of enthusiasm and it's so nice to see that, especially a husband and wife working together building their airplane. And so many so many of our customers, you know, they don't have their, their family or their kids involved and it really makes a makes a makes a lot of sense of having them involved. Well so, she's gonna have to give up a little bit of her time to help me out and and uh, when I get to get out of the house a little bit more. Right. And it's something I've always wanted to do, so well, why don't we go back and we'll do a couple takeoff and landings, let you see how the, the UL power responds to takeoff and landings and the cruiser, how much different it is and then the Stoll aircraft. Uh, the, the, the big difference between the Stoll aircraft and the cruiser on takeoff and landing is you can set up the cruiser more like a conventional Cessna, Piper, or any uh, certified airplane, you know, set up the downwind a certain speed, uh, trim it out, approach a certain speed, trim it out, add flaps, and it's going to basically land itself. Or the stall, you know, you're, you're trying to land as short, as short as you can, so you're going to develop, you're trying to develop a high sink rate so you can, uh, you know, land as short as you right. can. And then you're right. using the power to fly behind the power curve and little adjustments here and there. Okay. So, okay, well, let me go ahead and take over the controls. Do have the plane? And uh, why don't we go ahead and head to the south, and then we'll enter a downwind so we can show you the whole process of entering the base to leg to final. We'll turn this around so everybody can see our approach. Okay, next the traffic stable, turning final for 2 4 Mexico. I was just a little bit high, so I was trying to lose a little bit of altitude. Yes, you can slip it, lose a little altitude, but uh, there's no reason. Have a little bit of patience and it'll come down. All right, going to lower the flaps the rest of the way, trim it just a little bit. We're still about, uh, oh, about three quarters of a mile from the runway, half a mile. So I don't need to get too carried away. There's trim, hand no. off. I don't like to have it trimmed hands off. I like to have a little bit of a uh, heavy stick. That way, sure. if you're doing a go around, then it's not the opposite on the trim. And right now, we're about 64, 62. We get another uh, about 100 yards in. We'll slow her down just a little bit more in the 50s. You can definitely land without power, and you can keep the nose off, no problem at all. And there's power all the way pulled back. And we're in 57, 56. Looks great. Keep the nose down, and when you get really close to the runway, you start leveling off, and then just bring the nose up just a little bit. There you go, see how it's settled in? Just perfect. And we was uh, indicating about 30 right there. Uh-oh, my phone's I ringing here. you. <laughs> All right, you want to go around again? Absolutely, if, okay. you've got, if you've got the time. Yeah, sure. All right, uh, we're going to do a normal takeoff. Got to stick back a little bit, add a little bring, bit of power. Bring the nose. Flap, did uh -huh. you bring the flaps up? I did. Okay. And the nose will come up. You can actually make this a very nice short takeoff and landing airplane, just like the Stoll. It's got a lot of performance there, too. Is that our uh, climb rate for Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, if it'll climb, oh, you know, a little bit of flaps, you could probably get about 1,000 feet a minute.
what do you think of the UL power engine so far? Very nice. It is. Uh, we're very, very pleased with it. The numbers on the uh, on the gauge are wonderful. I grew up in a in a garage. Okay. Engines. I no engines. What are the uh, fuel flows on a on a UL? Uh, if you're cruising at 2,800 RPM, you're going to be about six and a half gallons an hour. That's US six gallon? and a, Yes, six okay. and a half to seven gallons an hour. Uh, if you bring back power, it's about 2,600. Uh, we're seeing about five, five, five and a half gallons an hour. Uh, the 750 Cruiser with the UL Power 350 IS, uh, it feels really nice, about 2,650, 2,700 RPM, and then you're still cruising, you know, 115, 117 miles an hour. Wow. Okay. Uh, time before overhaul? Uh, it's 1,500 hours. Okay. And that all depends on how you, you know, you run your engine. Yeah, Mexico traffic thermals on the left downwind for runway 24 Mexico. And we're at pattern altitude there. And if you notice how, there you go, there's level flight, hands off. It is, uh, it is considerably quieter than the Jabiru. It is? Okay. At least it appears to me the Jabiru I don't know, it could be slipstream too, that's... What's our, uh, what's our wind up here? Uh, very light. Okay. Wave to the camera there. Camera. Yes. Maybe get some, uh, pictures out here of the window. Yeah, I've got a little light rain today. Beautiful day, though. Gorgeous day, yep. Yeah, the uh, terrain is very, very similar to what we have at our at our place. It's a farming community. Okay. Don't have any hills or mountains, so we don't have thermals or. Right. But uh, I think your wife was saying that you're already getting a lot of snow. Yeah, it's a little too soon for us. Uh, back home, we always say we uh, we don't have very good weather. We had eight months of winter and four months of lousy weather, so. But I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. We don't have <laughs> hurricanes and floods right. and stuff. And home is home, you know. Home is. Well, they say home is where you hang your hat. Yeah. Okay, and Mexico traffic thermals turning the uh, final runway two for Mexico. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and get the runway lights on. You like that? It's always nice to use our airport facilities. There oh, we go. there they go. Look at this. It doesn't do a whole lot of pitch. No, it, it kind of does. I, lo I, I trimmed it out, otherwise it oh, went way okay. Those went way down. See how smooth and stable it is? Why is that one? Uh, because oh, if uh, I get different to angle, uh, right, yes. see now I'm on the glide path. I got two whites and two reds. Okay. If I have all reds, that means you're ah, dead. There you are. Now just let it settle. Just using the rudder for directional. Correct. Rudder uh, pedals are hooked up to the front. Correct. Okay. Yet when the rudder moves, uh, the wheels while uh, oh, you're flying. Correct. So there is a little bit of resistance there, a little bit stiffer than flying some aircraft where it's directly just to the rudder only and not the nose wheel. But in some ways, I kind of like a little bit of resistance there because when you're flying in bumpy or turbulent air, it kind of holds everything and you're not bounced around. It's not, and then, you know, the tail's not thrown around. All right, well, let's head back to the hangar.